Hello, Kira. Good to see you. Thank you. I can't believe I'm having my third child. <laughs> You'll have a busy household. Uh, how are you doing yourself? Well, to be honest, not well. I'm very tired and stressed out and I've not been able to sleep well. Okay, and how long has that been going on for? In the last year, I'd say. Okay, and has anything changed in the last year to cause this? Well, my partner became unemployed, so it has been harder to make ends meet. Okay, it sounds like you're under a lot of stress and pressure at the moment. How are you coping? Not well. I've been trying to keep my mind off of it a lot, but that doesn't seem to really help. A lot of people, when they're under stress and pressure, cope by eating more, drinking more alcohol, or relying on other unhealthy habits. How are you coping? Well, I've noticed that I'm eating less and probably drinking more. I find it hard to stop because it's the only thing that eases the stress. So you're drinking more to cope with the stress. Do you mind if I ask you about how your drinking patterns have changed uh, since you became pregnant? I've started having a few cans of cider at night or whatever else is around the house. I just find that I need an extra something to help me de-stress, help me sleep. Do you drink every night? I probably have three or four after I put the kids to bed. And yeah, it has been every night recently. So you're drinking three or four cans of cider every night. Can I ask what you know about drinking alcohol during pregnancy and the effects of that on your developing baby? Not much really. I mean, I never drank with my previous two pregnancies. You did well not to drink on your previous pregnancies. From what you've told me about your drinking patterns, there may be a risk to your own health and to the health of your developing baby, both now and in the future. Would you mind if I told you a bit more about this? No, go on. Okay. When you drink alcohol during pregnancy, your baby, your developing baby is exposed to the alcohol as well. The more you drink, the greater the risk. This can cause problems such as miscarriage, premature birth, physical abnormalities, intellectual disabilities, and heart problems. From what you've told me about your drinking patterns, there might be a risk to your own health as well. You might have noticed effects on your mood and sleeping patterns. People drink alcohol often to cope with stress, but alcohol is actually a depressant and can make stress worse. Both you and your baby would be healthier if you don't drink during pregnancy. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel terrible. I really didn't know. I can't even bear to think about it, but I know that something has to change. I know this is difficult to hear. You mentioned you'd like to make changes. What kind of changes would you like to make? I mean, I want to stop drinking, but at the moment, I don't know how I could do it. You did really well not to drink on your previous pregnancies. Can you tell me why you didn't drink during your previous pregnancies? Well, I wanted to be as healthy as I could for my babies, but I'm in a very different place now. I understand that things are much more difficult for you at the moment. Let's think about what supports might be available to help you to change your drinking patterns. First of all, in your family and then in your wider community. Who might be able to help you in your family? Well, certainly not my husband. He's a big drinker too. But I know my sister is concerned about me. That's good your sister is behind you. She might be able to offer some practical support. 
Can you think of ways she might be able to help you? I could call over for an hour in the evening just to get out of the house. And she said she wouldn't mind minding the kids. Okay, that's fantastic. There's also some local community support that might be able to help you to change your drinking patterns. How would you feel if I referred you to a local alcohol counselling support? They might be able to help you to change your drinking patterns and help you to remain alcohol free for the rest of your pregnancy. Medically, I'd like to check in on you every two weeks to see how you're progressing. How does that sound to you? Okay. I want my babies to be as healthy as they can be, so I'm happy to do that. Thank you, doctor. I know this is a difficult subject and I really appreciate you being so open with me. We've identified supports both in your own family and in the wider community.